I'm all for the American Riviera Orchard lifestyle brand that the Duchess of Sussex has developed. I can't wait for Megan's first merchandise release, even if it's only quince bark coffee, tomato leaf soap, a taster pack of salmon sperm injections, hand embossed make your own voodoo doll kits, or moonbeam gummies. And there's just one thing to wonder, why did it take her so long? The Duchess is among those women who were destined to advise other women on what to believe, purchase, and do. Whether she is invited or not, she is constantly educating the common people on what to wear, where to purchase, who to adore, and why Grage is the new taupe. Ever since her days as an influencer on the TIG, where she shared beauty secrets, recipes, and style advice from her home in Toronto, it was inevitable that Megan would eventually make her way back to the lucrative world of likes and clicks, and that she would be back among her merchant class relatives before you could say, add to basket. All she needed to do to maximize her online presence and increase any potential earnings was to somehow, somehow, transform from a B-list television actress to a globally recognized figure, someone who went from knowing Oprah Winfrey either personally or professionally to asking the all-powerful media star to her wedding. Anyone know of any ideas? You have to admit that, despite your opinions on the former Miss Markle, at least that goal was achieved. And how? It took slightly more than three years from the first date to the last lock on the Frogmore door, a shorter length of time than the gestation period of a salamander or some types of shark. Naturally, Meghan didn't wed Harry only to wriggle him out of the royal family, like pulling a whelk from a pearly shell, but rather to utilize her royal title to start a for-profit lifestyle website in California that sold organic birdseed, jams, cosmetics, and nut butters. Take it seriously. Please don't post any ridiculous conspiracy theories on this page. Even still, one has to respect the Sussexes mental clarity, boldness, unwavering determination, and twin peaks of mutual aspiration that propelled them to their current position. For the simple reason that far too many people were turned away from their fast track to freedom, I respect the fervor, if not the strategy. But surely the industrial grievance complex that has so far sustained Harry and Meghan's lifestyle must be wearing thin even for them? That's one of the reasons I'm hoping that this American Riviera Orchard endeavor will bring them both better times ahead. So bring on the youth do elixirs and the five wick candles, and hurry up and get the seven-ply cashmere lounge trousers and the pricey jars of honey. To maintain the luxury that this young couple has grown accustomed to and believes they deserve, let's all go all out and shop online till we drop. To that end, here's Megan, back in California, putting together a vase of white roses, preparing a morally driven lunch, and establishing herself as a tastemaker and model mompreneur. Someone who, upon picking up her newest humanitarian award, wears 1,500-pound Roland Murray day dresses and an endless supply of beautiful couture gowns, imposing her terrible sense of style upon the drab, civilian she-turnips in the real world. So motivating. But sometimes it seems like their virtual sisterhood is as fake as their trademark perfumes, much like all those other lifestyle gurus, like Martha Stewart and, of course, Gwyneth with her powerful goop. And, whisper it, that what actually floats their boats is not wisdom given, but simply avarice. Millions of dollars may be made in brand land, no doubt, but it's hard to see where American Riviera Orchard fits into this congested market. In the United States, companies like the Pioneer Woman began as a blog by a farm girl and grew into a multi-million pound enterprise that now includes a hotel, a pizzeria, a line of cooking utensils, and a 37-season TV cooking show that has made its founder, Reed Drummond, extremely wealthy. While her incredibly glamorous competition, Hannah from Ballerina Farm, is selling sourdough kits and mountain-raised meat on the Utah ranch where she lives with her husband and eight children, Ree is raving about a new milk frother this week and asking if you can give carrots to dogs. Nearer to home, Kate Moss is also experimenting with e-commerce with her Cosmos brand, which consists of a fresh range of beauty and self-care items available both online and in-store. The line includes a facial oil that costs about £105 for 30 milliliters and is created from a resin known as Mythical Tears of Chios, which is indigenous to the Greek island of the same name. 
This makes the oil nearly as pricey as scorpion antivenom. Has everyone lost their minds? Goop, cowgirl, party girl, but what will be Megan's unique selling proposition? She wouldn't dare exploit her royal connections, surely? After all, she had agreed not to. The Duchess has stated that she wants her company to be more accessible than Goop, but she admires Flamingo Estate, a California company that offers a posh lifestyle and organic products. Flamingo Estate has a polished elitism that is impressive. It seems that Martha Stewart, a stable and trustworthy person renowned for her realistic guidance on anything from skimming gravy to managing a household and maintaining cleanliness, is her primary source of inspiration. How to grow a tapestry lawn and clean a broom were among the recent articles from Martha, demonstrating her meticulousness. I would heed Martha's counsel on any matter, but what knowledge does Megan possess on brooms, except from possibly knowing how to fly one, as her adversaries deftly assert? When Martha learned that she had influenced the Duchess of Sussex, she responded, I am flattered. Produce good products that work and will help the homemaker have a nice life, was the advice she gave her. That is the main focus. It appears that American Riviera Orchard is more deeply ingrained in an area than a certain individual. Megan is trying to sell one jar of jam at a time the California dream. The main selling point is Montecito, but even so, there's a hint of undeserved emplacement, as if she weren't married to a British crown prince and weren't living in this affluent millionaire's paradise. Yes, some believe that American Riviera Orchard will bring an unpleasant commercialism to the monarchy, but this isn't the opinion of everyone who has just visited the Highgrove website. You will not believe what King Charles is flogging from the comfort of his own Gloucestershire rural house. Everything from 150-pound silk scarves, 375-pound corduroy gelées for country gentlemen, Prince of Wales check wash bags, triple-milled soaps, to 9-pound tea bag tidy. The fact that a member of the Windsor family is offering Yakhak Milky Rock Crystal Quartz charms for £39 a piece may not come as a surprise to you, but the guilty party in this case is Charles, not Meghan. What will Meghan's orchard accomplish if Gwyneth Paltrow's renowned goop nourishes the inner aspect? Give a pip to every person? In order to start a brand like this, you have to be well-liked and well-respected, have a devoted following, and possess the kind of pulling power that someone like Jeremy Clarkson possesses. Hundreds of people will wait in line for two hours to get a bag of potatoes grown by Jeremy from his farm, as I have personally witnessed. Can Megan elicit from her audience the same kind of devotion? We'll discover our next month when the website finally appears. Here's what I think we are in for in the interim. The Grievance Candle, 86 pounds. This soy wax candle is exquisitely presented in a repurposed jar and contains crystal petals that emit a crying sound when they burn. For the love of God, lighten up, lighten it for a foe, and lighten up for yourself. This will fill your area with a sharp sense of unfairness that stays for a long time, with top notes of prickly thorn and a dry down of sour grapes. Three years and counting is the burn time. Shearling headphones with noise cancellation, 256 pounds. A smart way to stop shrieking, la la la, not listening, and sticking your fingers in your ears. Rather, put on these fluffy beauties and let your own thoughts, no matter how big or small, marinate for a while longer. Line to keep your lobes warm with muskrat silk that has been hand milked. Opals are used as an accessory to amplify emotions. Padded rough dog bowl, 99 pounds and 99 pence. Have you ever been afraid someone could barge into your kitchen and dump you upon the dog dish without giving you a chance to escape? If so, you should use this device. To prepare for any emergency, just clip this velvet padded rough around your dog bowl. It will soften your fall. Constructed from an unused ceremonial robe that was recycled. Apply for information. Available with trim made from responsibly farmed ermine. Bracelet mood, 799 pounds. A multi-stranded quartz bracelet that can help you achieve calmness and chakra alignment. 
including cherry quartz for cherry picking conflicts, cellulite for self acceptance and compassion, malachite for pure odium, and rose quartz for unconditional love. Ohm Alert Travel Meditation Set 95 pounds for big, 75 pounds for med, and 55 pounds for small. Includes a used cardboard box with the words, Meditation in Progress, Do Not Disturb written on it. The Duchess of Sussex personally engraved each box using her impressive calligraphy abilities, transforming it from a useful tool for traveling meditation into a priceless collector's piece. To establish a safe zone for lucid dreaming, manifesting, reciting personal development mantras, and grounding the ego, all you have to do is pop the box on your head, no matter where you are. A limited edition signed copy costs an additional £100. Diaries of Silent Not Silenced Revenge, £125 apiece. A collection of thick-lined diary notebooks for note-taking, gathering proof, settling scores, and maintaining confidential lists of possible racists within the royal family. A distinctive unconscious prejudice section and an enemy index are included with every book. 38 pound worth of hummingbird sage dishwash soap. Honoring the occasion when 11-year-old Megan wrote to Procter and Gamble over a sexist dishwashing liquid advertisement and radically changed the world. Has she previously mentioned this? 5 p off orders with a minimum of 12 bottles. Savings for those without wages. Delightful Vintage England Food Section The Duchess of Sussex is excited to share her personal cooking techniques and dishes with guests. Marry Me Roast Chicken is one of the recipes that is included, it has the exact roast chicken and holy herbs that Meghan was preparing when Harry proposed. Keep an eye out for a beloved family dish known as the Frozen Wiener Supper and a stunning Japanese puffer fish dish that Meghan enjoyed serving to her in-laws. Hard cheese and simply crackers should also be avoided.